In this video, we're going to prove if shapes are similar or not. Now, for shapes to be similar, the scale factor between corresponding sides must all be the same. So we're going to need to find the scale factor for each pair of corresponding sides, and then we can check. So let's look at these t's. So corresponding sides, that side there corresponds with that one. So if we work out the scale factor of this one, we're going to do 45 over 30, and that's going to be 1.5. The next two is then sort of the, the height the part here. So we're going to get 90 over 60 is equal to 1.5. Okay, so good so far. They've both got the same scale factor, 1.5. Let's then check for these last two here, the sort of the bottom part. 12 over 8 is 1.5 as well. So they all have 1.5. So yes, they are similar shapes. And we would finally need to write, as the scale factors are the same for all corresponding sides, then the shapes are similar. Now let's move on to these triangles, see if they're similar. So we have to work out which are the pairs of corresponding sides. Well, for a triangle, the two longest sides will correspond, so that's the 24 and the 13. And then the two next uh, longest will correspond. And then the two shortest sides will correspond. So if we work from the shortest sides first, so that would be 18 over 9 to find my scale factor, scale factor 2. Uh, and then if we pick the blue ones, the, the medium size ones, 22 over 11, that gives me 2 as well. Okay, that moves us on then to the red size, the two longest sides, and we've got 24 over 13, which if I put in my calculator gives me 1.846 which is obviously different from the two twos. So as all the scale factors have to be the same, and they're not, these two shapes are not similar. And we would write, as the scale factors are not all the same, then these shapes are not similar. Lastly, we're gonna look at how we can prove similarity for triangles. Now, in this case, we don't have any of these lengths, but if all the angles are the same in two triangles, then they are similar. So let's look at these three triangles. So the first one here that we've got is A. We've got 58 and 82. So if we do 180, take away those two answers, we're going to get 40 degrees. Let's do the same for the next one for B. 82 and 43, add them and take them away from um, 180. We're going to get 55. And lastly, C, if we do 58... Add 40, take that way from 180, we get 82. So we need to look at the triangles which have all the same three angles. Well, that is A and C. They all have 82, 58, and 48. So we would write triangles A and C are similar as all their angles are the same. 